The Ohio River is not just a body of water, it's a repository of dark secrets and haunting tales that have both fascinated and terrified locals for generations. Stretching over 981 miles, the river has been the setting for countless legends and eerie occurrences that defy logical explanation. Join Vucation as we unearth the horrifying discoveries found in the haunted Ohio River. Billy Fee's Murder In 1890, the unsolved murder of 21-year-old Billy Fee on a shanty boat near Lawrenceburg, Indiana, haunted the Ohio River. Fee was stabbed and shot while on a honeymoon trip with the newlyweds John Keyes and Eva Dickinson and Fee's friend Bert Rusk. Though Rusk blamed Keyes for the murder, the truth was never uncovered. Fee's naked corpse was dumped in the river, leaving his ghost to relentlessly roam the banks. Locals reported eerie visions and sounds near the murder site, like shadowy figures reenacting the crime. In 1891, a young man traveling the river became overwhelmed with visions of Fee's murder and leapt overboard at the exact spot. Fee's agitated spirit spawned legends warning against nighttime visits to the river, with reports of screams and gunshots piercing the darkness near the supposed murder scene. Bodies Throughout history, the Ohio River has coughed up the dead along its banks, from suicides flung into the current to victims of violence. Early newspapers frequently printed inquest results for John and Jane Doe corpses found bobbing along the Cincinnati shoreline or snagged on riverside branches. Identification was difficult, with waterlogged bodies often unrecognizable. These inquests serve as grim reminders of the Ohio's legacy as a dumping ground for the unfortunate dead. A body with hands bound or weighed down with stones hint at stories of greed and jealousy turned deadly. Even accidental drownings evoke the river's reckless power to take life suddenly. Enormous Catfish The Ohio River's depths hide monstrous creatures, like the massive catfish hauled from the waters over the years. In 1849, a behemoth 5'10", inch 158-pound catfish was caught near Cincinnati and displayed publicly before being shipped to Philadelphia. Reports compared it to a river monster. In 2009, two fishermen wrestled a 96-pound 4'6"-inch blue catfish into view of downtown Cincinnati, proving the giant beasts still lurk below. The question remains, what mutated genes or radioactive sewage have allowed catfish to reach such aberrant sizes. The average channel catfish weighs just 2 to 10 pounds. Many speculate that pollution has accelerated the growth of Cincinnati's river monsters. Alligators Alligators are cold-blooded killers, more reptilian than animal. So, when eyewitness accounts surfaced in the 1870s of alligators dwelling among the coal barges around Cincinnati, it evoked deep unease about what might lurk beneath the Ohio's surface. In 1879, a three-foot alligator was captured on the Covington shoreline, supposedly the first ever documented that far upriver. But more sightings followed, suggesting a thriving population of lurking alligators. Alligators can hold their breath breath underwater for up to an hour, plenty of time to seize an unsuspecting barefoot child splashing along the shoreline miles from the nearest bayou or marsh. Riverfront residents were warned to watch children swimming, as alligators were reportedly spotted swimming along the paddle wheels of passing steamboats. Though no human deaths can be attributed to them so far, the prehistoric creatures haunting the river seem to foreshadow peril. Chemical Slug A toxic horror slithered down the Ohio River's veins in February of 1977 when a tank ruptured at a chemical plant, spilling over 5,000 pounds of deadly carbon tetrachloride into the water. This poisonous compound spread a 50 to 60 mile long slug of pollution floating towards multiple cities as water intakes. The noxious chemical plume forced water purification plants to shut off valves until it oozed past. The shockingly large spill was not an isolated event either. The Ohio River is widely considered one of the most polluted waterways in America, thanks to antiquated sewage systems, fertilizer runoff from farms, and manufacturing waste seeping from factories. Elephant Swimming In 1860, crowds gathered in disbelief as an enormous circus elephant named Lala Rook emerged on the Covington shoreline, having just swum across the massive Ohio River from Cincinnati. 
For a behemoth weighing several tons to frolic in the water defied logic, yet children gaped in amazement as the dripping wet pachyderm lumbered onto land. Spectators lined both sides of the river to witness the bizarre spectacle. What would drive an elephant to voluntarily plunge into the river and withstand its strong pull to reach the distant shore? Perhaps she was fleeing cruel circus masters or simply indulging a whim to take a bath in the city's main water source. Giant snakes, fantastic tales of monstrous serpents lurking in the Ohio River, proliferated in the 19th century. A great snake up to 40 feet long was said to dwell in a Claremont County mill pond, instigating a heavily armed posse to hunt the beast in 1847. When floodwaters later caused the pond to drain into the river, some believe the giant reptile escaped downstream. In 1893, passengers on a pleasure boat near Blennerhassett Island reportedly saw a huge snake with bulbous eyes and an immense head keeping pace with their watercraft. An 1885 story described a Ripley County farmer and his son frozen in their wagon by the sight of a serpent 24 feet long and 2 feet thick. Though likely exaggerated, these dramatic stories reflected a regional fascination with the idea of mythic beasts haunting local waterways. Green Clawed Beast In August of 1955, Kentucky resident Naomi Johnson had a terrifying encounter with an amphibious monster while swimming in the Ohio. She described feeling clawed hands grab her legs from behind, dragging her underwater twice before friends helped her back into the boat. Johnson had noticeable hand-shaped gashes on her legs where the creature clutched her in its vice-like grip. Prior to the attack, Johnson witnessed an unidentified flying object hovering over the river. This led to the speculation that her assailant had somehow entered the water from the UFO. Had the alien creature mistaken her for prey and attacked? The incident gained publicity as a rare documented case of an extraterrestrial aggressively approaching a human. Mud Mermaids Bizarre mutant oddities apparently dwell in the muddy depths of the Ohio River. Based on historical accounts of the so-called mud mermaids spotted near Vive, Indiana in the late 1800s, these creepy creatures were first reported in 1894 newspaper stories described as around 5 feet long with slimy yellowish skin, webbed feet, sharp claws, and oddly floppy ears on a bald head. Witnesses caught the beasts feasting on fish pulled from the river, suggesting carnivorous diet habits. While mermaids are typically envisioned as alluring, these mud mermaids were characterized as frightening oddballs, too warped and gruesome to resemble mythic sirens. Octoman In 1959, a wave of Octoman sightings generated panic along the Ohio River near Cincinnati as residents reported seeing a bipedal fish man emerging from the water. The first witnesses included a police officer who described an entity climbing from the river with pendulous arms and a sizable head. More reports accumulated, including octopus-like appendages, silver skin, and bodies covered in scales. As rumors swirled, an 11-year-old boy told the Cincinnati Post that his teacher wore warned students of green-skinned humanoids rising in platoons from the river. This hysteria was accompanied by all the riverside streetlights mysteriously extinguishing after the initial sightings. While rational explanations were lacking, the shared cultural imagination transformed a questionable eyewitness report into an urban legend. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever heard of any of these stories before? Let us know in the comments section below.